What's up? It's your girl, Sid, and welcome to Savvy Sentient, and welcome to your June 27th through July 3rd, 2021 general collective reading. As this is a collective reading, this is not sign-specific, so if it resonates for you, then it was meant for you. All right, if you all are new here, please make sure that you like, share, subscribe, and click that little bell so you're notified whenever a new reading is released. And if you are not new here, thank you for joining me once again. Regardless of which group you fall into, all of your support and all of your viewership is welcome and appreciated. All right. So if you all are interested in personal readings, all the information you need is in the description box below. You're going to click that link that says book a personal reading here, and it will take you straight to scheduling. If you are interested in following me on any of my other social media or joining my Spiritual Safe Place group, that information is linked below as well. The direct me link will contain everything that you need. So let's go ahead and get into this reading. Uh, so during the meditation, I heard a song that I don't think a lot of people are familiar with. It's hard to find on the internet, but it's called Body Bang by Lloyd. Um, but it's a banger. If you were wondering, <laughs> it is a banger. But what I saw was a young lady dancing to this song, looking like she was off beat, gave me very much Tina from Bob's Burgers. <laughs> um, but what I gathered from that was confidence, having a good time, and maybe some of some time for some of you all to start enjoying your life. Maybe some of you all are too much into your work and not enough into enjoying life. Um, but also not really caring about what people think, you know, just doing you no matter what. All right. So let's see how that plays into the reading. It may not play in at all. It may just be something that you needed to hear. Have more fun. Stop caring what people think. Enjoy your life. All right. So let's get into this reading. What is the overall energy spirit of this reading for the collective? Overall energy of this reading for the collective. <laughs> Straight like that. All right, we have the Ace of Cups. So this could be new love coming in. This is a new inspiration uh, as far as your creativity goes. This could be healing, your cup running over, okay? And um, an abundance of stuff in your cup, okay? So this is what is coming up for you. This is the overall energy of this reading. Let's look a little further. All right, I'm definitely going to pull love oracles as I can definitely be in reference to love, but it doesn't have to be. All right, see the queen of swords. So I think it could definitely be about healing for some of you all. Ace of Cups showing us off again as I split the deck. Yeah, definitely a, per a period of newness. And the world, in and of a cycle, definitely a per period of newness. Okay, tell me what's going on with the collective in the recent past. Tell me what's going on with the collective in the recent past. Pit spirit, one more, please. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. All right, tell me what's going on in the present for the collective. Mm hmm. What's going on in the present for the collective? One more, please. Oh, too many. Okay. Mm-hmm. Just what I was thinking. Some of you all are doing too much work and not enough playing. All right. And tell me about the near future for the collective. Mm. Okay. All right. So in the recent past collective, we have the sun card. As you all probably know, if you watch tarot, the sun is the happiest card in the deck. However, in this instance, I feel like this is not necessarily the energy that you were in, but what you all were focused on, which is not a bad thing, you know, manifestation, law of attraction. If you're focusing on positivity, if you're focusing on abundance, clarity, uh, happiness, then you will receive that. However, I feel like you were at a stalemate about how you were going to achieve it, how you were going to reach that. You were stuck. 
All right. And I feel like part of your issue was because you felt like you didn't have enough or you weren't enough. You had some type of lack. So while you were focusing on achieving abundance, you also were kind of focusing on lack. So if you don't have the abundance yet, it could be because you were focusing on the lack. So be mindful with your thoughts, y'all. But yeah, definitely the sun energy is what you're trying to achieve in the recent past. Uh, maybe you were even coming up with a plan to achieve that, but you re you reached some type of roadblock. All right. In the present, we have the eight of hazards, which is working diligently. All right. This is apprenticeship, apprenticeship, uh, constantly putting in that hard work. All right. <clears throat> We have the four of hazards, saving. So I really feel like you all are just working your asses off right now. Like I said, all work and no play. <laughs> working your asses off, saving your money, hoarding your money, because you're trying to achieve some type of goal. You're trying to fulfill your wish, okay? There's something that you want to get done, and you want it done as soon as possible. So you just work, 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 work. <laughs> all right? And then also the nine of wands came through. So this is the Wonder Warrior card, going and going and going, perseverance, in spite of any bumps in the road that you may approach, okay? You just keep going. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. But in the near future, we do have a tower. I don't feel like this tower is a negative tower, but I do feel like something unexpected is coming for you. We have the ace, I'm sorry, the four of cups in the reverse. Now, you know, in the upright, this is disinterest. This is apathy. Um, I feel like with these cards together um, and this in the reverse, what you're actually feeling is like inspiration. You're wanting to take the cup that the universe is giving you. All right, that Ace of Cups, yo, that is so dope. Okay, so in a traditional deck, the Four of Cups is um, the universe handing one cup to you. Um, and you have three other cups that you're not really interested in. It's like you're not interested in any offers coming in. However, with the, in, the, in the reverse, your, your interest is peaked. And I think that you wanna grab for that cup. And I feel like you do with the Ace of Cups being the overall energy. And when you grab that cup, friend, you achieve some type of victory. You get the recognition that you've been looking for. Okay? So, yeah, I feel like for a lot of you all, it's just like putting in work, putting in work, putting in work until you get the opportunity that you're hoping for. A lot of you all, it's not physical work. It could be manifestation. You all are just manifesting and manifesting and manifesting very diligently, trying to make your wish come true. And finally, out of nowhere, the universe will be like, hey, little bit, look what I got. I, I brought you something. <laughs> I brought you something, friend. You gonna take it? All right. So, all right. For some of you all, this may be love. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this love oracle. But remember, this deck does speak to other areas of your life. So take it how it resonates. Take it how it resonates. All right. Messages for the collective, please. <laughs> Some of y'all are definitely manifesting love. Definitely. Love to see it. Love to see it. One more, please. Y'all. Bro, this is such a beautiful reading. So, the first card that comes out... It says love, unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, and attraction. The next card that came out said love call, all right? <laughs> love call. Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. For some of you all, this is definitely a love that you manifested. Be lighthearted with the dragonfly, finding out things come to light, adapt, change, and heal. All positive cards from the Love Oracle. For some of you all, I'm getting that this may be a friendship that you were hoping developed into something more. With the dragonfly card, it is, okay? It is. The, the thing that comes to light is somebody is like, hey, baby, I know we friends or whatever, but hey, little baby, I always been crushing on you. What's up? Can we make it happen? <laughs> that's that's the message for some of y'all. 
All right. So um, let's get into these Moonology cards. Moonology, what you got to say to the collective? Because right now this reading is real cute. Can we keep it that way? Can we keep it that way? All right. Messages for the collective. Hey. Hey. <laughs> they are not playing today. They are not playing today. All right. So the very first card that comes up says... Be bold and make the first move. You offer the cup. Don't wait for somebody else to offer the cup. You offer it. All right? The next card says a personal issue reaches resolution. All of this work that you've been putting in, all this manifestation that's been, that you've been putting in, you're going to get the resolution, as we already see with the tower and the four of cups in reverse. All right, you can finally rest. You can finally be easy. Speaking of which, what do you need to release? All that overworking you've been doing, okay? It's time for you to let loose. Time for you to relax and have a good time, all right? Try to find some balance. Don't work so much. Maybe you should find a way to work smarter, not harder, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> all right, so that's what you need to release, all right? Overdoing it. There's an easier way to get what you need, but... That's not to say, I mean, clearly your hard work is paying off. <laughs> clearly. All right. So let's see what else we got for you. Rebel messages. What do we have, Rebel Deck, for the collective? I know y'all like to drag, but be easy. <laughs> this is a beautiful reading right here. <laughs> All right. Messages for the collective. Messages for the collective. Messages for the collective. Messages. Okay. Okay, that love card wanted to come out. Period. All right, so the very first card that came out said, ask a fucking expert. All right? Don't rely on your friends or the internet or listen to a damn professional. Now, I feel like... I don't know why, but with this card specifically today, the expert that you're asking is your higher self, is your intuition, is your inner knowing. If this is about a relationship, don't put everybody in it. Don't put everybody in it. Don't try to overanalyze it using Google. <laughs> Just enjoy it and trust your intuition, okay? Um, the next one is eat your vegetables. All that working you've been doing... All that work you've been doing, but have you been taking care of yourself or have you just been working yourself into a slump, working yourself into a shell of your former self? Is that why you need to dance like Tina? Eat some shit made by Mother Nature, friend. Go get you a salad. <laughs> and then finally, you do you. Stop trying to change people. That shit never works. In this instance, I feel like with that card, when I seen it hit the table, I just went back to the Tina dance. Like, you do you. Don't worry about nobody else. Enjoy yourself. Be yourself. Live in your own energy, okay? Do you, boo-boo. Do you, all right? So let's go ahead and get some advice cards for you. What advice do we have for the collective? What advice do we have for the collective? <laughs> Whoa. Okay, we're going to try that again. But I do see the world coming out and the nine of swords. So it may be time for you to put an end to any anxiety or stress that you are experiencing. And like I said, live your life. Enjoy your life. Advice for the collective. Advice for the collective, please. Okay. And then let's pull your... <laughs> Let's pull your message from spirit. Postcard from spirit. What messages do we have for the collective, please? Messages for the collective, please. Okay. Yes. All right. So you're already on on the correct path. You're already on your way to success and all of that. Um, the advice here is rest and recovery, first of all, because what did I just say? All work and no play. <laughs> but also meditation 
on how to bring more into fruition, how to grow the things that you want, how to create the things that you want, and coming up with a strategy with the Seven of Swords. Um, this could also be a card of deception, but I'm not feeling it here. This is definitely about strategy. So go ahead and take a break, friend. Go ahead and relax. Go ahead and have a good time. And then get back to business, all right? Think about how you're going to bring the rest of the things that you want. Make your life as beautiful as you want it to be. And come up with a strategy for it, all right? And then finally, your postcard from Spirit. Okay, your postcard from Spirit says, Dearest you, since you are on earth, you understand how buildings are built. Yes? A good, solid foundation, and yet flexibility too, in case of earthquakes. Truth be told, you can't offer something sustainable unless it's built from a solid base, whether it be an idea that takes form one step at a time or an actual house that needs a sturdy foundation dug, poured, and built. We want to remind you of this because you might be you might need a little encouragement to see this is true in your life at this time. Celebrate the fact that right now you can repair the cracks in the foundation of your life effortlessly, as well as do a general site check to ensure that your work, your hard work, is being well supported. Do this and know you are building your life on a perfect and sound foundation that will allow you to welcome the many miracles waiting to come and visit. We're so happy for you and so intrigued by what you're building. Period. So intrigued by what you're building. And y'all are working your butts off. All right. And it's all going to be worth it in the end. And because your foundation is hard work, it is not cutting corners. <laughs> it is work, whether that be a manifestation or physical work. But your building is going to be structurally sound. All right. Because you went about it the right way. Even if this is a relationship. Okay. You manifested this out of positivity, okay? The sun was your focus. So it's going to be structurally sound. Even with the tower in the near future, the whole point of the tower is to tear down your, your ego and your, your preconceived notions or your, um, what, am I, what am I looking for? Grasp it, grasp it, grasp it. Um, your pre-established beliefs, and to create from the rubble, from that foundation, to build something more solid, okay? So this here, friends, is a lovely reading. I love it. If this doesn't resonate for you, claim it. Follow, follow these footsteps, put in the work, manifest, so that you too can have, have this type of energy in your life, all right? So... That's all, folks. <laughs> uh, until the very next time I read for y'all. Wait, 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 wait. If it resonates, let me know how in the comments below. All right? Because I'm nosy. Like, share, subscribe. But also, until the very next time I read for you all, always know I'm wishing you all love and light and everything right. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.